Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Since man first invented making fire, he has been trying to control it. Firefighting is one of the largest industries in the world, and the solutions out there are quite innovative. Today, we have a look at some of these systems. Systems such as the Modular Airborne Firefighting System are self-contained aerial firefighting systems, which convert a C-130 Hercules plane into an air tanker. A MAPS unit comprises five pressurized tanks totaling 3,000 U.S. gallons. The usual cargo in the C-130's cargo compartment is removed and replaced with the MAPS unit. The aircraft's hydraulic systems gives 1,300 PSI to the MAPS to pressurize the retardant. The retardant is then channeled through an outlet in the plane's fuselage allowing it to be dropped on flames from a specific height. Unlike its predecessor, the MAPS-1, the MAPS-2 allows pressurized discharge and stable flow rates even at various altitudes. A MAPS-2 aerial supervisor or a certified flight engineer controls the system which can disperse up to 3,000 gallons of retardant in less than five seconds. The use of advanced GPS and communications equipment allows for accurate dispersal of retardant over the required area, basically establishing a fire line from the sky. Coordination from ground units and lead planes allows the drops to be accurate and effective by relaying GPS coordinates and other details to the aircraft. When triggered, a powerful pneumatic compressor expels the retardant out a rear nozzle. Multiple discharge rates, ranging from high-speed, low-volume drops to slower, high-volume drops, can be set depending on the task at hand. Because of its operational adaptability, the MAFS-2 is important in wildfire emergencies, giving critical support to ground-based firefighting forces. MAPS-2 unit and air crew certification and recertification is an annual event involving several stakeholders, including various wildfire agencies, CAL FIRE, and the four military MAPS wings. The proceedings are held in Sacramento, California, which is a major hub for firefighting operations. The major goal of the recertification procedure is to guarantee that all parties involved in the MAPS-2 system's operations are familiar with its most recent features and safety protocols. Technical issues such as equipment installation, maintenance and troubleshooting are emphasized. Mechanic training focusing on the correct replenishing and refueling of aircraft tanks is also conducted. Ground and flight exercises are included for air crews operating C-130 Hercules aircraft equipped with MAPS-2. This training includes simulations of real-world events to assess their ability to handle the aircraft and the MAPS-2 system under varied conditions. When wildfire increases, these certified MAPS planes are called in to supplement USDA Forest Service tanker capacity. Mm -hmm. 
To find wildfires or predict where they might start, special aircraft such as the ER-2 are used. An elevated altitude single jet aircraft that can reach roughly 70,000 feet in altitude, the ER-2 is a modified version of the well-known U-2 spy plane, which was developed by the U.S. in the 1960s. Even though it is structurally like its counterpart, which is focused on espionage, the ER-2 is dedicated to conducting scientific research and environmental investigations. The Armstrong Flight Research Center, which is in Palmdale, California, is where it's managed and has its headquarters. The Airborne Visible Infrared Imaging Spectrometer is a cutting-edge instrument developed by the Jet Propulsion Laboratory of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration in Pasadena, California. It's installed aboard the ER-2. By taking advantage of the reflection of sunlight, the Avaris is equipped with more than 224 sensors designed to identify quantify and monitor the characteristics of the Earth's surface and atmosphere. ER-2 comes into its own when it comes to the fight against dangerous wildfires. As it rises above the turbulence and smoke caused by heat waves, it offers a vantage point that is currently inaccessible to conventional aircraft. Wildfire mapping and data transfer to ground units are made easier by Avaris. This transmits information on the fire's temperature, speed, direction, and intensity, among other measurements. Fire hotspots can be identified with the assistance of infrared imaging, which also provides information on the probable growth trajectory of the fire. Furthermore, the ER-2 continues its vital function in the aftermath of the fire, providing essential information for climatology research and efficient forest management. It helps in the process of observing the regeneration process inside the regions that have been burned. The utilization of the ER-2 and Avaris demonstrates that aeronautic technology plays a crucial role in tackling environmental concerns, particularly those involving wildfires. Reaching fires quickly is another crucial aspect of firefighting. As a result of its capacity for transportation and ability to access isolated places, the CH-47 Chinook helicopter, which is used by the United States Army, plays an essential part in the response to wildfires. The Chinook is a heavy lift helicopter with two engines that can reach difficult terrains considerably more quickly than ground transportation options. It can deliver firefighters to fire lines in a matter of minutes, which substantially saves time compared to the amount of time it would take to reach those spots by foot or vehicle. Because of its high-speed capabilities, firefighting hand crews can immediately begin the highly important operation of cutting fire breaks, which prevents the spread of fire. Helicopters can also be utilized in other ways to fight fires. A Bambi bucket is an extendable, versatile firefighting system, which is suspended from a helicopter by a long line. It was developed by SEI Industries and it's used to drop water or fire retardant from the sky onto wildfires.
It has a capacity of 72 to 2600 gallons. Using a Bambi bucket entails immersing it into a body of water, such as a lake or river, and then releasing the contents over a fire. The water output can be controlled via the valve at the bucket's bottom, ranging from a complete dump for maximum coverage to a partial dump for a more dispersed approach. The effectiveness and adaptability of the Bambi bucket make it a simple yet invaluable asset in aerial firefighting operations. During catastrophic wildfires, fire evacuation is a critical component of emergency management. It entails rapidly and safely transporting citizens from dangerous places to safe areas. The primary goal is to reduce fatalities and injuries. The process can be complicated, involving alarm systems, planned evacuation routes, and transportation mode coordination. Due to the quick growth of the Creek Fire, Mammoth Pool Reservoir in one prominent wildfire occurrence. The California National Guard's 40th Combat Aviation Brigade used a CH-47 Chinook helicopter to evacuate civilians. They were taken from the imminent danger zone to the safety of the 1106 Theater Aviation Sustainment Maintenance Group's flight line outside Fresno, California. This highlights how important military assets are in fire evacuation. Military support also comes to the fore in other ways. During wildfire events, military troops such as Army National Guard sustainment brigades provide critical logistics and sustainment support to civil authorities. Taskings frequently include creating temporary shelters, as demonstrated by the Alaska tents set up in Chico, California on November 17, 2018. These tents, designed for quick installation, provide crucial living accommodations for both evacuees and first responders. Collaboration with state agencies, in this case the California Governor's Office of Emergency Services, ensures that actions are coordinated. During similar events in Butte County, the military's efficiency and sustainment and logistics, honed through rigorous training and operational experience, provides critical assistance. The campfire incident in 2018 highlighted the willingness and ability of the military to respond to save lives. So, when wildfires strike in the United States, there are various means of rising to the challenge. Not only do systems such as the modular airborne firefighting system and the use of Bambi buckets help fight the fires, but the U.S. military and NASA's aircraft support efforts in various other ways. From transporting firefighters or evacuees to spotting fires from an altitude of 70,000 feet. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.